terms of our contribution to NATO, we'll be on uh, quick uh, reaction alert or QRA. And we'll have our fighters, as you see the one behind me, the FGR4, uh, primed and ready with our crews, our engineers and our technicians to, uh, to launch that aircraft and defend uh, NATO's airspace. Uh, this opportunity is fantastic actually to work with our NATO partners. Uh, there's a number of uh, different air forces located here at MCAP and we get to fly with those regularly, both in the QRA roles uh, but also in terms of training. Uh, and you know, our nations here, we've got uh, uh, opportunity with uh, ground forces, air forces, and in particular, uh, you know, those nations coming together. Uh, and uh, we've already conducted some training with the American uh, contingent here at the base. So we're seizing everything we can uh, just to make sure we are better, our skill sets honed, uh, and we're working professionally with each other. Uh, overall, the enhanced air pro, uh, policing makes NATO safer through multiple means. We're getting the chance to train and integrate closely with our NATO allies. Uh, we're airborne and we're securing the uh, borders uh, and just making sure that we have a, a presence uh, across the entire eastern flank uh, for NATO. The, the Ford presence is important to show that uh, we're here in solidarity uh, visibly uh, and physically with our Romanian partners. It allows us to get airborne and uh, provide better uh, protection and support for the NATO borders. Uh, and it's uh, excellent training uh, to work with all of the allied partners uh, in different airframes and different mission sets.